Hi, I'm Abby and I'm pregnant and my due date was actually yesterday, September 17th and so I'm in a state of, I guess, waiting for signs of labor or when the baby wants to come. Um, but yeah, through this process of pregnancy, the Lord has been speaking to me a lot about the idea of rest and peace and being a dwelling place. Um, early on in the pregnancy, Papa David maybe was actually in Taiwan and um, there's a gathering of some young people and he was sharing about how the Lord is calling the church, calling his people back into that identity and reality of being his resting place and his dwelling place and not just like being busy with a lot of things but actually being the place where God's presence can dwell. And as he was sharing, that was something that was deeply um, burning upon my heart because um, throughout my life, the idea of being a resting place and dwelling place has been something that, like a burden, a passion that God has placed within me and he's spoken to me a lot about it. And as um, they're, as they're sharing, um, suddenly the Lord gave me the name Shiloh. And I felt like the Lord was saying that he wanted me to name my child Shiloh as a response and as a um, their response to what the Lord is calling the, the church into. And so I was researching Shiloh, and Shiloh in the, the word itself is related to peace and resting and dwelling place. And the biblical location um, was where the tabernacle was before the temple was built in Jerusalem. And so when Hannah went to pray for a son or pray for a child, that's where she went to pray. And um, Samuel grew up and ministered to the Lord in that place. And so it's the place of God, where God's presence was. And so through this pregnancy, the Lord has been continuing to speak to me a lot about this theme of rest and um, being a dwelling place. And um, especially about like what it means when he's talking about rest. And a big thing that the Lord has been highlighting to me is the rest he speaks of is about surrendering into his um, sovereignty, surrendering to his will and his leadership. And in this surrender is a laying down of fear and a laying down of shame. And so for me specifically through this time, there have been a lot of areas of fear, fear of man, fear of people's opinions, and areas of shame, areas that um, the enemy has continued to accuse me or attack on my identity these things that the Lord is saying, I'm inviting you to lay down so that you may enter into my rest so that you can truly be that place of rest and peace of the presence of the Lord. And so like in the complication, uh, not complication, but like in the process of pregnancy where there's different little scares and anxiety and different things, I felt the Lord continually calling me back to that place of peace and rest to say, okay, I'm laying this all down and I'm choosing to enter into a, a rest than the Lord and yeah I feel like just this is my personal experience about this resting place and dwelling place but I feel like this is also the season that the Lord is you know calling the church into of um, truly entering into the peace of God and that rest of God of alignment to him and his will and so even now as I'm waiting um, expectantly for um, being able to um, actually deliver the baby and stuff choosing again to be in a peace and in a rest and not an anxiety or fear or anything like that and to be joyful and at peace with what the Lord is doing